A popular YouTube star named Mark Rober just released a new video pranking those who break into cars in San Francisco. The former NASA engineer built backpacks that shoot glitter and a very foul odor at the thieves. It also records their stunned reactions with hidden cameras. He's turning the tables. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Ahmed Dates. This year, Rober enlisted the help of our own ID reporter, Dan Noyes. And Dan is here now with the story, and what a story it is. It really is. You know, Dan and Ahmed was really interesting to see how Mark Rober's mind works. The pranks are entertaining, but they also provide some valuable information about who's breaking into the cars and where the loot is going. Mark Rober hadn't planned on making another glitter bomb video. Then his car got broken into in San Francisco this year. I'm missing a window. Not cool, San Francisco. Not cool. So he launched his biggest effort yet, set up bait cars with hidden cameras, placed backpacks inside with a newly engineered special surprise, a contraption that shoots glitter, emits a foul odor, and plays a countdown that invariably makes the thieves ditch the backpack. Five, four, three. You know, it was really great working with you, Dan, because you're like a professional. You've been doing this for 40 years. So the combination of both of us was like, it was really interesting because I could get these things stolen. We'd get this great footage and then you could run the plates and do more of like an in-depth in investigation. I think the combination of that worked really well. Over the past eight months, Rober and his team recorded 25 car break-ins, but something surprised him. Most weren't those groups of apparently organized thieves we often see on cell phone videos. Something like 80% of our break-ins were just individuals, so not groups coming around in cars. And honestly, it felt like a lot of them, this could have been their first break-in almost, right? Like, they weren't very good at it. They couldn't break the window, or they got scared off really easily. I was also able to track license plates used in the crimes. They often turned out to be from stolen cars to make the criminals harder to catch. I went over to my car, and my license plates were gone. Retired San Francisco State Professor Gerald Eisman had plates stolen twice from his car, parked in front of his Oakland home. I showed him the video of his plates being used in a break-in. What do you think about seeing your plate used in a crime like this? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm grateful that uh, I reported it so that the tr trouble wouldn't come back toward me. Mark Rober also took note of my investigation earlier this year. A videographer placed air tags on his gear, and after a car break in in Oakland, he watched the equipment travel into San Francisco. He's on the phone with a San Francisco police officer when he sees his camera gear arrive at this location in the 300 block of Leavenworth. And he goes, oh yeah, that's a known major fencing operation. Everybody in the Bay Area knows that they can bring their stolen goods and offload them there. So Mark Rober rigged a laptop with a tracking device. We took an actual gaming laptop, removed the extra fan, and in its place added a GPS tracker that would continuously stay charged by using the laptop battery. That way we'd always know where it was, even if they wiped the hard drive. He got it stolen and tracked it to the same location. That was bonkers to me. Like, you publicly outed this as a fencing operation a month and a half ago, and it's still being used as a fencing operation. Our work has given me many other leads to follow. By the way, you have to see the car that Mark rigged with bulletproof glass just as a way to mess with the criminals. As I said, very entertaining, but some valuable information, Dan and Amma. Yeah, it's Absolutely. a win-win, and I have to say, very satisfying to see the thieves get theirs a little bit. True. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, thank you, Dan. Thanks,